modern dating has turned with what once felt like an organic part of life into a marketplace of sexuality. Now, nowhere is this more obvious to me than in the online dating apps. Both as an intellectual observing the phenomenon and as a participant playing the game, I have become acutely aware of how we present ourselves to other people. Now, I want to explore online dating through the lens of concepts in two distinct fields of study. Starting with economics' game theory and finishing with computer science's Turing test. So, starting with an economics game theory classic, The Prisoner's Dilemma, a paradox in decision analysis in which prisoners operating in their own self-interest end up with an outcome that is not ideal for either one. Now, the two prisoners, when questioned, have the option to blame the other prisoner or to remain silent. Now, it's in each prisoner's interest to cooperate with the other prisoner, to remain silent and thereby minimize their own sentencing. However, the dynamics of the game end up in such a way that they both end up blaming the other prisoner as a mechanism of self-defense, which ends up ultimately extending their own sentencing. They end up doing this actually because they're making a decision based on they believe another person is going to do. Now let's extend this concept of the prisoner's dilemma to online dating. Now put simply, we have two options. We can either be vulnerable, authentic, real, whatever you want to call it, or perform. Now it's in both of our interests to be vulnerable with one another because we know that true connection, true relationships are built on authenticity. But if I'm being vulnerable and you are performing, well then you remain inaccessible, I feel hurt, and I end up losing. So I end up making my decision about how to behave based on how I believe that you will behave. And therefore, we both end up performing, leaving no real opportunity for connection. So we both end up losing. Now, this is just the beginning of the games that we play online, whether we're actually seeking partners or simply just people to sleep with. But extending beyond just the photos, how do I actually present myself through my words, through my chats online, or as they say, through my banter? Now, how might I learn how to actually stand out online? By looking at one of computer science's oldest methods of inquiry the Turing test. How might I convince you that I really am the salsa dancing, sailing, curious American technologist that I'm making myself out to be instead of just some charming boss?